welcome back. So we did have partly mostly cloudy skies across the region as we made our way through the day today. Temperatures staying well below where they should be. Only made it to the lower 30s and temperatures have since really started to fall. We have that strong northerly wind and skies are clearing. We're down to 17 in Scotts Bluff right now, but it feels like 4 degrees with the wind chill. Uh, winds around 12 miles per hour. Here's a look at the temperatures across the region. So we're seeing a 14 right now at Harrisburg and out towards Sydney, 17 at Oshkosh, uh, 14 at Alliance, also near that level at Shattern and Gordon, but already into the single digits at Harrison at 7, Hemingford at 8 degrees right now. Here's a look at the winds, mainly from a northerly, little bit of a westerly component in there too. Wind speeds right now around 15 to 25 miles per hour, breeziest conditions just off to the east of Scotts Bluff. That continues to pump in the cool air. Now, most everybody on this map is in a wind chill advisory. It does go into effect at 11 p.m. and lasts until 9 a.m. tomorrow. There is an exception in the valley locations between Scottsbluff and Bridgeport, not in this advisory, but everybody else is. It's going to be cold no matter where you uh, are across the region uh, for tonight, so definitely be prepared for that. As for the snow into southeastern Wyoming, uh, National Weather Service is going to keep a winter weather advisory for Wheatland, Chugwater, Cheyenne, and Laramie. That does go until Friday at 5 a.m. because of the blowing snow and uh, the slippery conditions on the roads. And where they had more snow in the higher elevations between Cheyenne and Laramie, winter storm warning also effect until 5 a.m. Nothing uh, like that in effect for Nebraska counties because... We stayed mainly dry, and we had a clearing trend as we made our way through the last few hours. So mostly clear skies up and down in the uh, Panhandle. A few more clouds south of Gordon and along the I-25 corridor, but that is it for the moisture. Uh, a very cold high-pressure system is, is making its way in. We're really on its cool side. Cold air all the way down into Texas right now, and that flow from the Arctic is definitely uh, giving us really cool conditions. Temperatures in the teens this evening and falling into the single digits overnight with partly cloudy to mostly clear skies. Most of us have lows between 0 and 5 degrees. The wind chill making it feel much worse with that uh, advisory. In the advisory area, it could have wind chills 10 to 20 below zero, but... We rebound nicely. Lots of sunshine, strong westerly wind tomorrow. High temperatures near 30 degrees. And then as we make our way through the overnight into Saturday morning, starting off in the mid-teens, lots of sunshine for Saturday. And highs will be near 40 degrees. We have a nice warm-up in store. So we're really going to be in this high cool side all the way through Saturday afternoon. Then that high will crest over us. Eventually, we get back into a southerly wind. We'll warm up nicely for Sunday into Monday. The high also will give us a good amount of sunshine. Snow showers across most of the northern plains, Midwest and Northeast. The cold air, there it is, all the way down into Texas, that jet stream to our south. And uh, our southeastern Wyoming counties did get some of this snow over the Rocky Mountains, but our Nebraska counties did not. So now we're going to stay in a really dry weather pattern and gradually warm up. 29 tomorrow, 43 on Saturday, mainly sunny skies. Saturday a little breezy, but the breezy conditions give us a southerly wind that gets us into the low to mid 50s with mostly sunny skies Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Then back into the upper 40s, partly cloudy to mostly sunny for Wednesday and Thursday as we stay dry and a lot warmer. Angel? Thanks, Justin. It's the Great American Smokeout a day. The American Cancer Society hopes will encourage smokers to put down their cigarettes. But quitting is no easy feat. In today's Health Minute, we have some tips on how you can increase your chances for success. It's no secret cigarette smoking can be deadly, killing more than 480,000 people in the U.S. every year, according to the CDC.